what's up guys, welcome back. Today's video I'm gonna be talking about what I failed in boot camp. Stop! No, stop! I said go to the corner deck! No facial expressions! Go! Go! go. So I think there's a big misconception that when you go to boot camp, whether it's the Marine Corps like I did, or even Air Force, that you have to pass every single little thing, or else you don't become a Marine, or you don't become a soldier, whatever it is, fill in the blank. Um, that's a big lie. I, I think there's there's a lot of um, there's a lot of stipulation behind you have to be perfect in order to join the Marines or join whatever branch. And it, you know, if you aren't prepared enough and you fail one thing, then you're a no go. Now, uh, I'll tell you what, right off the bat, the recruiters will be able to go and tell you what you need to know going into boot camp. You don't have to know everything. Uh, think about like disassembling a rifle, knowing like tactics, knowing the knowledge that you're going to be learning. You don't have to know all that stuff. As long as you pay attention, you're probably not going to fail, really. Um, and as long as you can pass the PFT and you know those sort of things, you should be all right, honestly. Um, now, with that being said, you know there are a couple things that I failed in boot camp myself. Um, it wasn't, now these aren't going to be huge failures, obviously you do have to, you know, mark the, like hit the marks for the major things like uh, qualifying for the rifle range or PFT again, uh, the CFT, the combat fitness test, there's going to be different tests, like you have to be able to swim if you're doing the Marines, but like the things that I failed were small enough, but you're, you guys will probably look at it and be like, wow, he failed those things, but he still got through, so um, just to just give you an idea of what you can fail in boot camp versus what you can't. So, hey, let's just get into it. Uh, the first thing that I've written down on my iPad is the obstacle course. Now, you would think me being a small guy would be awesome at the obstacle course. Now, I am as long as I can reach the bar. Now, in boot camp, all right. So, first of all, I'm five foot four. Um, didn't have the strongest leg muscle, so I couldn't jump very high. And uh, my biggest problem in the obstacle course was reaching the bar, believe it or not. I actually had to have people help me up to the bar, <laughs> like a kid. Uh, but once I get to the bar, you know, I can do like a billion pull-ups. I can, you know, I can, basically what you're supposed to do is go over the bar, um, and there's a certain way to do it. And um, I couldn't even reach the bar. So uh, when you're going through the obstacle course, you can fail up to two things. But if you miss that third thing, you actually get taken out. You, I mean, you have to pass the obstacle course. There's a lot of like um, special things like rope climbing, and you know, there's there's things that you have to know how to do just to be a marine specifically. So, um, what I failed was I got two uh, marker uh, marks on my hand, so two out of three uh, that I could potentially get, um, and I got two out of three just because I couldn't reach the bar. So that's what I failed. Uh, the next up is intermediate swimming qualifications. So. In boot camp, they're gonna let you, uh, obviously you have to do the beginner's uh, uh, swimming qualification, I believe it's called the beginner's. Um, but basically that's what every Marine has to do. It's uh, pretty simple, you just have to be able to swim, like I think it's 50 yards. It's not bad at all guys, you'll be able to do it. And even if you are, uh, in, you're called an iron duck, that means that you have to, you have to wait another week, uh, go down to a different platoon and then, um, you know, recall. Uh, but they're gonna, that entire week, they're gonna let you try and recall, they're gonna try and, you know, get, let you know how to swim and stuff. I do recommend, I mean, I joined swimming team to go and uh, make it so I could swim better, uh, but I do recommend, just a little tip here, I know this isn't the video, but I do recommend swimming a lot before you join the Marines specifically, or the Navy, um, just because you will need to know how to swim. But uh, what I ended up failing was the intermediate swimming qual. So you do beginners, I, I passed on the first day, so they're like, hey, we got some extra time, let's let you guys Anybody who wants to do the intermediate swimming qualification, try and attempt it. And I passed everything except for one thing. So I passed the 500 meter swim with full camis and boots. I passed uh, jumping off the, the diving board and then swimming. Um, I passed the, the uh, staying afloat, I forget what that's called, but basically you have to take your trousers literally off and you wrap it around your neck and you splash water in there and some air gets in there. It's basically a life preserver now and you can just float. You have to do that with your blast as well. Uh, but the one thing that I failed that did not allow me to get the intermediate swimming qualification was I could not do, you have to jump into the pool, you have to strip down, and while having positive momentum forward, so you have to be walking forward while you're doing this, taking all everything off, you have to stack everything on top of your pack, which floats, and uh, just go off into the deep end. But I was too short. I was starting to get to the point where I was like trying to balance everything on my pack so it wouldn't fall over, like my rifle, my Kevlar and everything. 
and the water's now up to here, and I, I, can't, I don't even have traction on the bottom. So I didn't have positive momentum at the very last second, and it was pretty soon in this whole like walk, and everybody else was still walking because they're tall, and uh, the guy saw me, the instructor said, hey, you're stopped, you know, you stopped, get out of the pool, and that was the last thing, and I failed it. Um, I felt pretty bad about it, I was so close, and I did the 500 meter swim, which is really tough, um, <laughs> but you know, it is what it is, that's, you know, that's something, obviously I, you can still go through boot camp. This is just like extra qualifications you can get under your belt. Um, so anyway, asking to use the head correctly. Oh yeah, so I remember this. The last two weeks, this was like a week before the crucible. Um, oh, so I ended up, I ended up, uh, you have to basically when you go and ask uh, your drill instructors, if they're in the hut, which means all three of them are in their little place where they probably just eat and use the restroom and shit. Uh, but you can knock on their hatch and ask permission to use the head. And uh, I, I accidentally knocked on their hatch and I, I, I said something wrong. I forget what it was, but I didn't do it correctly. And everybody in the platoon heard me say it because you have to yell it. And uh, they were all like cleaning their rifles or some shit. And they all looked back and they're like, you know, I, I knew I did. And um, <laughs> uh, the senior general instructor had mercy. He was just like, oh, use the head. And I was like, all right. So I used the head. And then when I got back, uh, the, my heavy, which is a different drill instructor, which is kind of tough on you, he ends up coming out. He's like, Weatherhold, was that you? And I was like, yes, sir. And he's like, you done, you know, screwed up. Uh, you're going to be having, I want you to have fire watch the second hour and the second to last hour till the end of boot camp. And I was like, I was so distraught over it. I was so sad. Um, so I got back to clean my rifles and I was, everybody was like, are you okay, man? Like, I felt so bad just because... I, I came, you know, I just screwed up the last two weeks of boot camp. Whatever, I got through, became a Marine. All right, so the next thing, only up to not having a piece of paper. Yeah, so, oh yeah, 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 I remember that. So, uh, <laughs> we basically were gonna go and clean the racks. So what we did, all the racks are on the on either side of the squad bay. And uh, basically when, when we clean, we have to bring them to the center so that we can clean underneath the racks and stuff. I ended up, uh, when we were moving the racks and stuff, uh, one of my pieces of paper, I didn't know it was mine, but it ended up falling on the floor. And um, so, uh, you know, it was a very important piece of paper. I forget what it was. I had some directions on it, though, for uh, later, you know, training. Uh, I think it was something we had to study. And uh, anyway, he was like, whose piece of paper is this? And, uh, you know, we found, like, which rack was next to and stuff. And it ended up being mine, but I didn't know. And I was like, you know, I didn't, you know, didn't want to... Um, do it and then he was like alright everybody like go to your go to your foot lockers and grab the grab the piece of paper uh, Everybody like grab your own piece of paper. So I went to my foot locker I didn't see it. I was like oh shit and I still I, I at this point I knew that I didn't have it and that that one was mine on the ground and um, I ended up uh, you know, I was like I didn't want to own up to it I you know, I was just like too scared to go and own up to it a little tip don't be scared to own up to things. If you do, you know, mess up in boot camp, the best thing is just to, you know, like say, sir, this recruit did this, sir. You know, like you have to just like own up to it, have integrity. And this is my one thing that I did bad, uh, where I didn't have integrity. I didn't want to own up to it. I was too scared. Um, but anyway, he was like, he was like, Weatherhold, is it, you know, you don't have one, so it's probably yours, right? And I was like, yes, sir. And I, he throws it on the ground. He crumbles it up. He throws it on the ground and he spits on it, with a, and he's got dip in his mouth, and he spits on it, it's just a black dip on it, and it's all crumpled up and stuff, and he's like, well, come pick it up, and I was like, I sir, so I ran up to it, and I, I went to the ground, I went to reach for it, and he freaking stomps in my hand with the with his boot, and I was like, oh, and uh, <laughs> it's like, and he called me something I can't say, and uh, we went back to, the, uh, to cleaning, and I put that stuff away, but, Make sure to say what you did. Um, so I, I, I count that as a failure just because integrity, right? You got integrity violation you can actually get kicked out of boot camp for. Uh, there's this one guy who said a racist term and uh, he almost got kicked back uh, out of boot camp actually because he said a racist term. And um, um, yeah, I mean, obviously that's different things. I, I wasn't that person, but yeah, just make sure to have integrity. Don't, don't be a bad person and uh, you know, that, that'll be good. And I think I've got one more, no, I've got two more. So, uh, pugil sticks. I suck at pugil sticks. I, I don't know why, but I, I suck at fighting with pugil sticks. It's something that I've always struggled with. I, I like to blame it on the fact that I was the lightest person in, in my company. So when we would go against different platoons, and you'd be all armored up, you'd have like cr a crotch plate like protecting your groin, you'd have a you know, face mask, you'd have like, uh, I think there's, you had a flak vest as well. 
and you'd like meet in the middle. And this guy is like already like five inches taller than me. He's, he's probably like 160, but he was like one of the lightest guys in their uh, their platoon, and I was the lightest guy in our platoon. So we ended up getting matched up. And like I remember, like I swung at him, I missed, and he just like swings at me, and I just I'm just on the ground. They're just like blowing a whistle in my face, saying I failed. And um, yeah, I suck at pugil sticks. But guys, you don't have to pass the pugil sticks. One thing that, you know, they always put in the ads, like, the person who, like, destroys the person with the pugil sticks, but you have to think from the perspective of the other half of people that ended up getting taken out by the pugil sticks. There's always another half. There's always a person who won in a gunfight in, in war, and there's always a person that lost. And, like, it, a lot of it, it, it's not fair, you know? Uh, pugil sticks, think about that. Like, it's not fair that I was lined up with him, but it's also, like, war isn't fair. So, I, you know, I, I, see, I see why they did that. And the last thing that I failed in boot camp was uh, climbing the floors in the crucible. Now, I'm gonna try my best to go and describe what this was like. Uh, so basically, during the crucible, there's just a lot of obstacles you have to complete with your with your squad. There's like 12 guys you're assigned with. And uh, one of the obstacles, we did not do so well. well so we, we actually didn't even like attempt it barely because it was so scary. Basically, it's like, uh, there, it's like multiple floors. So it's like a stack, and it looks like a skyscraper. It's about 10 floors high. Probably probably like only five floors actually, but it's like a plank of wood right here and you can do a pull up to it But then there's another plank of wood up there and you can barely even reach it and like down below is like grass and, and like gravel and stuff So like if, if you try and like do that if you try and jump up to that one and you miss you're falling all the way to the ground and, uh, and a lot of teamwork comes in where you have to like grab people's hands and you have to pull each other up but uh, that was one thing we failed, so we just had to go on a run with, uh, with the instructor that was with us because we failed that, that course. But hey, I mean, like again, you don't have to pass everything. All the things that you see in boot camp, all the little, like, um, all the little things, you really don't need to pass. But then again, you do have to pass the rifle qualification. You do have to pass the, the swimming beginners. And um, yeah, hopefully this gives you an idea of what you have to pass in boot camp versus what you don't have to, because I failed a lot of things. Um, and uh, yeah, guys, I, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something today. If you did, make sure to leave it a like, uh, comment, subscribe as well. The one year anniversary of this channel is coming up. And I think it would just be awesome to see a thousand subscribers, a thousand guys who want to learn something. So, hey, stay motivated, guys. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.